Hi guys, it's Atomic Mercury here. Welcome back to another episode of Mars My Car. Today's episode, we're going to be doing a full engine build, top to bottom. So without further ado, roll the intro. <laughs> I have started a couple of bits off, so we'll just run over them quickly, just to recap on how to do them. I did these in the last episode, so just to save people having to watch two episodes. We'll just do a quick recap. So what we've got here at the minute is the block, pistons, main bearings, cylinder head, rocker shaft, camshaft and cam gear are all already fitted. So for when you first get the block, you want to flip it over and you want to get the three main bearings off the shelf, bring them over here and they are 9mm bolts, two of each, uh, two on each, three main bearings. Then flip the engine back over and inside here you can't quite, you can't see but you'll have four pistons, one, two, three and four. Fit them in order, they'll only come up with a tick when you've got the right order, so fairly easy to fit in. And then on each you've got two 7mm bolts for each piston on the bottom end, just there. And once you've done that, flip it back over again. And you want to get the cylinder head. You can either fit the cylinder head first with the head gasket, and then do the rockers after, or you can put the rockers on before. So you get the rocker shaft, and you want uh, an eight mil for these five bolts along the top tighten those up. Then once you've got the head gasket on and the cylinder head you've got 10 7mm bolts as shown there. Yep. Once you've done that you want the camshaft which is a big long shaft that goes straight through the middle of there. Uh, if you do want to see how that's fitted completely just look at the last video it's more or less at the end fit that and then it's two 5mm bolts to bolt that in one just here and one just there either side of this big bolt on the outside there once that's fitted you want the camshaft gear fit that and then you want a 10mm to tighten this bolt up here and once you've tightened that up you'll see there's a line just there and it lines up with a line on this uh, on the crankshaft just here. So you just need to rotate it a full 360 until it lines up with that if it doesn't already. So now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to quick recap. What we're going to fit now is the timing chain and the timing chain cover. So you just grab the timing chain, rotate it a bit and it should just slot straight on there like that. Then we need the timing chain cover which is over here. So we'll grab that and you'll see that the big brown rusted hole it's over there just like that where the five bolts are sticking out on the side. So you put that on there and they are if I remember correctly they are, I think they're 5 mil. let me just do a check, time to change 6 mil. so there's 6 of those, so you want 6 mil. down here, and there's 6 of those bolts, go all around the edge of here, 1, 2, 3, Or as you're putting stuff on the engine you'll notice it does tend to rotate round when things have started to set in. You probably get sort of like three, maybe four bolts around something and it will all, all of a sudden just move on its own because it's set in position on the part that you're putting on. So once that's on we then need the water pump. 
One second. Let's go and grab the thing. Should be another sewage job. Yeah, so now I've got the second one in the town. So I'm going to start them next episode, I think. Start getting some money in. Right, so yeah, water pump, which is this thing here. Just grab that, slap that in there. And then the water pump is 7 mil. So, um, 7 mil bolts. Come down here, and there's 5 of them, I think. Yeah, 5. So there's 1, 2, Three, four, and five. And the next thing we need is the water pump poly. Same size bolts again, only four of these this time. So one, two, Three and four. Then what we're going to fit on now is this distributor. So this just slots in there and it requires a screwdriver just to tighten it up. So you've got a screw just down this side here, sitting just there. Just tighten that. You will, may need to adjust that, it should look somewhere similar to that. So there's a small gap at the top and a fairly large gap at the bottom. But when you get it in the car and get it running, um, it tends to do a kind of squeaking noise when it needs adjusting. So while we've got this in this configuration, what we'll do is we'll just get the spark plugs out. And just pop those in. So we've got four of them, just press the F key to get them out. It did take me a little while to uh, work that out when I first started putting spark plugs in. So just line it up. So you've got one, two, three, and four. And what we need is this spark plug wrench here. Tighten those up, so there's four of them. Just tighten them up till they stop. That's that done. So, what we'll do now is we'll just put the rocker cover on. We can't, we should ideally adjust the valves, but we can do that when it's in the car, so there's no real necessity to do it now. Um, so that's a 7 mil bolt. So we've got 1, 2, 3, and 3 the other side. So I just pick it up, turn it around a little bit, so make it easy to get to. We have 1, and you can just see them, 2, and three. Right, so next thing we need is the alternator. That's this thing here. And this goes on this side of the engine, just behind the water pump. That goes there. So the alternator is there's one seven mil, which I think I've already got out. So the seven mil is just I think on the back side of this is it? Just turn it around a sec, just so you can see it a bit better. So just on the back of here. There it is. So you've got one at the top, that holds the bracket on. And then on the bottom 
there are uh, there is one ten mil. So that's this one that's just standing off on the back of here. Now to adjust the alternator, ideally we do that when it's in the car and running. But I'll just set it up now just so that you know how to get it running. So we get the alternator belt. We should be able to put that on. Actually, no, what am I thinking? It won't go on because we need the crankshaft puller. Just put that on quickly. Put that on there. The crankshaft pulley is. 111 mil on the front. So you just tighten that up. Now I'll show you how to put the alternator belt on. So you come up with a tick. What you need to do is while you've got it grabbed in the, uh, got it in the hand mode rather than tool mode, it's just push the alternator as far as it'll go outwards. So that's scrolling the wheel down. Once you've got it as far as it will go, push it back two clicks. Then grab your screwdriver and just tighten that screw up there. That's not a proven 100% method, but it's a good start. That usually, basically, what you want to do is when it's in the car and running, as long as that's not squealing, it should charge the battery. So what we'll do now is we'll just grab this engine plate here and now stick it on this side like so and then we'll get the starter motor and just turn it down a bit come on there we go so Grab the. I'm just going to flick the light on because I think it's going dark. There we go. It's better. So, grab the starter motor, just over here. Grab that. And just put that there, like so. And on here, you have two 7mm bolts on the back. So, grab the 7mm. There's a seven mil, so you've got one here and one just the other side of it, just there. And that's that bolted on. Yep. So next is the oh stall. Next thing to put on is the headers. No, it's not, sorry, it's the carburetor. So I grab the carburetor, come to the back of the engine, put those on there, just turn it around a bit, make it easy. And the carburetor is four 8mm bolts. So you've got one. Just there, so you've got two on the top and two on the bottom. One and two on the top, and then on the bottom, you've got one just there and two there. Then we'll grab the headers. Let's see if it'll let me find them on the side down. There we go. So they go on like that. And same thing again, but this is five bolts instead of four. So you've got one just there. I think it's three on the top, two on the bottom. So you've got one either side on the top. And you've got one just underneath there. Just make that one out. One under there, one under this side, 
There's one for the middle somewhere. I'm just trying to find it. There it is. It's straight in the middle. So that's that done. Then what we need is the flywheel. Put that on this end here. So just turn the engine around. So it's facing us. And on the flywheel, there's six, seven mil bolts on the inside. Just on there. So we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. Four. See what I mean by seating things. Five and six. So once that's all done, we now need to put together the clutch assembly. So I'll just pop it on the table just to make it a bit easier to see. So what you've got here is you've got your cover plate, pressure plate and clutch disc. So what you need to do is you need to put the clutch disc inside the cover plate and then put the pressure plate on top of the clutch plate on the clutch disc. Then you pick the whole thing up together, if it'll let you. Come on. There we go. And pop it on the end of the flywheel. It's not letting me. A minute. It's just hanging off the edge of the tiny bit to see if that helps. Yeah, that was it then. There we go. Now, round the edge of the clutch assembly. Or six mil bolts. I think. Just need to change the spanner. Six mil. And you've got six on the outside edge. So you've got two, two, and two. So we'll just go around and tighten them up. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Now, what we'll do is we'll grab the engine again and flip it upside down without it falling off the table. There we go. And we'll grab the oil pump, or as I call the sump. Put that on there, and then the oil pan takes eight seven mil bolts and one thirteen mil bolt at the top. See so thirteen mils there, which is the sump plug, and then you've got four bolts one side and four the other. So it's two, three. The other one's just behind the start now. There we go. Four. Turn the engine around. And four on the back side. One. Two. Three. And four. So that's all eight bolts tightened on there. And we've got 13 mil for the top. So next thing we need is I like to keep the engine upside down again for this. Next thing we're going to put on is the gearbox, which the gearbox is set down here on the floor. So we'll grab that. What you want to do is turn it upside down. Hope 
that clips on there. There you go. So this takes six seven mil bolts and one ten mil bolt. So I'll just show you where they are. So you've got six seven mils. So the seven mil bolts are all around the edge of here. So you've got three this side. So one, two, that's not tightened. Okay, three. Four, five, and six. And we have one ten mil bolt. Which the ten mil bolt is just there. That's up. So it's just above where the half shafts go. Yep. Then what we need is something called a drive gear, which is this little thing here. And that slots in to that hole there and goes onto the end of that. So for this, we've got seven six mil bolts on the outside of there. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And one on the end of here, seven. Now what we need to do is flip the engine back over again, because this is the exciting bit. Actually, what I'm going to do is just pop it on the floor. There is one thing I need to just put on quickly, which is the oil filter. I've got a new one here, so just pop that on there. You just pop that on and tighten it down by hand. So the exciting bit is, is we can now put the engine on the hoist. So just lower it down. The engine hoist doesn't seem to go high enough, really, to get the engine off the table, off the workbench. So I tend to just drop it down on the floor. And then it's easier to pick it up. What I'll do is I'll just move the engine back. It's easier moving the hoist around. So get the hoist as low as possible. When you hear that ting, that means it's met the engine. So what this needs is two 10 mil bolts. You've got one at the back of the engine and one at the front. So we'll just do the front one up first, and then the one at the back. And you should see the engine just clip onto it. Just make sure that the second one's tight. There we go. So, the exciting part, just push that over just a touch. And we get to the back of the car and just push it in just a bit more so it's over the edge of the an inspection pit. Just 
Double check that it's not quite far enough. Should be enough there. So, we'll hoist the engine up. Until it's cleared the top of the car, so that's not quite cleared it yet. A couple of more. And for some reason, it was grabbed hold of it. There we go. So, position this over the car. Where the engine should sit. It's not quite lined up yet. Maybe turn it just a touch. There we go. So we'll just lower that in. You may find that because it's obviously lowering, it may go further forward than you expect it to. But generally, should just drop straight in line. What you want to be doing is just lining it up with these rubber blocks here. So you've got one there, one there, and then one at the back. Which you can't quite see. You should line up with that um, rectangular block just there. So you just keep lowering that in. May need some adjustment left and right, but generally should just go straight in. There we go. It's gone a bit too far. Uh oh. No, don't do that. Yeah, that's supposed to be on the end of that. Try again. Should be lined up all right there, and lower it back in again. It wants to go to the left a bit. Maybe a little bit too much, but we'll see. See how it goes. So now what we've got, see if this will um, just clip into place. Pretty sure they are 13 mil. Maybe wrong, maybe swans, but so down at the bottom here, not the twelves actually. Let's try the twelve. Fourteen. Yeah. That's all on the thirteens. Other elements. So you'll have three 11 mil bolts. One there. Not gonna let me get it from here. One there. 
on the back. And one just down here on the bottom here. There's one bit of the subframe just here. It'll let me grab that one. Which it won't for some reason. Unless that's a different size. I'll just try twelve on that one. Nope. Love it. Yes, it's bogging out on that one. Yeah, it should be. Just try and do this one again. So that's out that again. We'll try and do this one. Again. No, that one's not appearing. That might be why. May want lowering just a bit more. I think this one's bugging out. I'll do these two up to the um, high stuff and then see how it goes. So to take the high stuff, need two 10 mil bolts again. Undo those. <coughs> Front. And there we go. I should just be able to pick that and move it out of the way. So we'll just grab the 11 mil again. Just see if we can tighten that front one up again. Yeah, let me do it now then. It's just glitching out because it was on the hoister. And there we have it. The engine in the car. So what we'll do next time is, well next episode, what we'll do is we'll start to do the ancillaries and bits and pieces that go in and around the engine like fuel pump, electrics, uh, the um, ignition coil and that sort of thing for the engine electrics clutch lining, brake lining uh, we'll start to put some of the interior in so we'll put the dashboard in put 
get um, the clocks in, start to put a few more bits and pieces together, get the fuel tank in and all the pipe work for that, handbrake, exhaust, basically start to make sure that we've got everything we need to run the engine. And what I might do is make a completely separate episode for this. This is the wiring for the whole car because it takes a little while. It's not quite a full episode's worth of wiring, but it's it would make the next episode too long if I did the wiring in that as well. So we'll just get the essentials for the interior all the engine basic wiring stuff in I'm going to reset that because that was out of my control <laughs> um, but yeah so let me know what you think in the comments below guys and uh, make sure to leave any suggestions for any more videos um, like I say, Euro Truck, still thinking about that. Mud Runner is something that I am seriously thinking about doing and probably starting next week. Um, but yeah, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all guys in the next episode. Quiet. <laughs>